Hey everybody, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome back to another one of my weekly vlogs. Let's see what's been going on this week. So now that everything is mostly back to normal, I can get back to my usual weekly vlogs and go back to my usual schedule of gaming, anime, life updates, Patreon, and all that fun stuff. So I can finally get back to my normal life and get back to work and everything that I was doing before, which I'm really happy about. You have no idea how refreshing it is. The birds outside are going crazy. It's not a beautiful day. It's Thanksgiving right now. Not beautiful, but the birds are happy, so I guess that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, there's a lot. Like, in terms of gaming, there is a lot. There is a lot going on. People are hammering the walls. It's just, it's a busy day, apparently, or something. It's a crazy day. Uh, yeah, so recently I released my uh, review of Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright. If you haven't checked that out, I will put it up here somewhere, somewhere. Uh, and yeah, it was a great game. It was uh, a little bit of a disappointment for me personally, but it might be something that you'll end up really liking yourself. If you are a fan of the series, or if you're not, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure you'll find something you love about it. Um, so aside from that, I have a review coming up for Super Smash Bros. on the 3DS. That's going to be going up tomorrow. I'm super excited to have that review come. Uh, that game, I, this game I've been looking forward to for a while now, uh, and I don't want to talk too much because I will divulge a lot more once I, um, once my review comes out, but that's something that you can look forward to. And so I have a review for a short piece, uh, Ronko Sukigime's Longest Day that came out, which I am actually really loving a lot, despite how bizarre it is. It's for a very particular market. Very particular market, it's very Suda-esque, Suda51, one of my favorite men ever, love this guy so much, uh, and yeah, you gotta be like a very particular person, but I am in that small, small margin, so it worked, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes, uh, review-wise. I also have a review for Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair coming up, yes, it's actually coming, it took a while, but it's finally here. Uh, I have a review coming up potentially for uh, Disney Infinity 2.0, but I'm still waiting for my review unit. We'll see. Uh, Destiny, whenever I have time to play the game, because I have not had a whole lot of time. And with Thanksgiving having just passed and everything, I, surprisingly enough, I didn't have a whole lot of time. It's pretty busy. Uh, and then Unplugged Expo. I need to see if I can get together my montage video in time. There's a lot going on. There's tons. And I'm also doing some little Let's Play videos at my boyfriend Jay's, who uh, who has a channel, 3 Kilobytes, you may or may not be familiar with. I'm going to be doing some Play Bites Let's Plays with him, uh, which I already did one for Alien Isolation, and then I did one here on my channel too. But there's going to be a lot more. There's going to be tons. So please stay tuned. I'll be posting a lot of that kind of stuff on my Facebook and Twitter. And then aside from that, weekly vlogs, just to kind of balance everything out. But yeah, gaming is crazy. This is that time of year, though. This time of year is always... Oh, another thing I really wanted to do was actually a... Um, a little recap video for the Tokyo Game Show and things that I'm excited for are things that I might have particular opinions about in terms of games. So we'll see if I'll have time for that considering how much else I got here, but we'll see. A lot of collaborations too, and those will come in due time, in due time. Now in terms of anime, I have a lot of catching up to do there as well. I need to keep working on my Makoto Shinkai review series. My next up will be Garden of Words, and then I will have Voices of a Distant Star. Uh, and then I'm going to have my review of Baccarano, which is very great, kind of Neon Genesis Evangelion-esque, or Ender's Game-esque sci-fi drama I really enjoyed. Uh, and then I'm also thinking about maybe incorporating manga reviews. I've been on a couple episodes of Manga Pod, which is a pretty popular video cast that happens with some really lovely people that I, uh, I will link to below for you in my details. Uh, lately, like the latest uh, manga that we talked about was Claymore, and while I haven't seen the anime for Claymore, the manga is insane. It is so good. It is so insanely good. I love it, and I want to do like manga reviews. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a manga review series just to add onto all of this. I'm not really sure. There's so much that I want to do on my channel, and I want to set like particular days for particular things. So. We will see, but yeah, I think that's it in terms of anime for now. I haven't really had a lot of time to watch anything, I've just been reading, and I've been reading a lot of Claymore. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, what else was I? There was something else I was watching. There was something I was actually watching, I stopped watching, 
for a little bit. You know what? This is something I'll get back to next week. <laughs> this is something I'll get back to next week because I'll be totally refreshed, I'll be updated, and I'll talk about it like no other. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Now in terms of life updates, things are finally coming together. I went to Ikea and I bought a bunch of appliances and I bought a bunch of shelving and things that I need for this apartment. You don't want to see what this area looks like right here. It looks actually really bad. There's basically boxes coming up to here right now, which is very close to hitting the lens. It's a bit lower. It's a bit lower. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty messy over here. But I'm getting together my gaming area and I'm probably going to do a video just to introduce you and just to show you what it looks like. But I have a lot of other things I still need to buy with me and my new roommate. We have like a microwave, rice cooker, we probably need to buy like more pots and pans and things as well but right now things are coming together slowly I think that will be for November most likely but uh, things are coming together really well and I, I really couldn't have done it without a bunch of you it's kind of silly and stupid that I need to rely on you guys to buy necessities like these or things that I probably should already have in my home but I just lost a bunch of stuff so I'm kind of rebuilding my home right now and this is like this is a place I want to live in for as long as I can for years years and years I love it here and I want to keep filming here and I want to keep loving my space right so it's coming together I do also have um if you are a uh, um, a pledger on Patreon, then you can also see some behind the scenes videos. I believe that's for ten dollars and up patrons. Uh, you can see like these special little behind the scenes videos, and we're releasing one really soon, like not long after posting this weekly vlog, where I go to IKEA and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna have a lot more, and you're gonna get like first dibs on checking out how my apartment's coming along and checking out my area and things like that. Uh, speaking of Patreon, I have some shout outs I want to offer to some really awesome people, uh, people who have donated, whether it's a dollar, twenty dollars, or more. It doesn't matter. You know the fact that. That you are pledging means the world and that also puts you into my monthly draw which is gonna start this uh, I think it'll start this October or November one of those two so keep that in mind I'm still trying to kind of figure everything out right now but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start for about mid-October uh, and that's like uh, if you make like a dollar pledge, twenty dollar pledge, it doesn't matter. You're entered into the draw. But to everybody new who has uh, become a Patreon, I want to thank the following. I want to thank Travis McCollum, who also did a really awesome shout out video in terms of YouTubers that inspire him, and I was one of those people. I'm very thankful. This is something I posted on my Facebook, and I, I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you so much, Travis. I really appreciate it. I also want to thank uh, Arthur Barros, Camilo Vargas, Carl Leonard, uh, Sir Gudson, Hattie, uh, James Berryman, Justin Bailey, Kalia, Zane, and Bunny Hero. Thank you so much for pledging to my Patreon. Now, if you're not familiar with Patreon, it is a crowdfunding site, uh, or sort of like a crowdfunding site, for creative individuals, people who might not necessarily be able to do this as a full-time job, but would love to, and need all the help they can get from the people that they go straight to, and those are people like you. This is like what youtubers do they need help from the viewers or uh people who are independent graphic artists or independent comic book creators they rely solely on those people a lot of time there is no middleman with people like that they just go straight to the audience and i like that i love it and i love that uh that we can all work together in the end and I can help offer you a little bit in return too. So I have some postcards I'm getting ready, I have some messages I'm getting ready to send out to some of you for some Google Hangouts, and I have a bunch of really cool stuff. So life has been very good. Uh, in terms of things that I want to implement into my channel, uh, because with my roommate's schedule and because it gets dark a lot faster now that it's fall, uh, I'm going to need to consider getting some light fixture, like some soft boxes for my apartment so I can keep filming all day long without any worry of shade or anything like that. Another thing I want to start looking into, obviously as you can probably tell by this video, it, this is a very loud video, there's just way too much going on. And these birds are crazy and there's people pounding on the walls I obviously need some kind of audio equipment so I'm looking at getting a Rode video mic actually which I can mount onto the top of my uh, my T3i here 
It would be lovely because then instead of hearing all this background muffle, like just neutral noise, you could just hear me <laughs> and it'll be a lot sharper uh, and I want to make sure that the lighting is consistent if I want to film later in the day. So like there's a lot of things I'm considering right now. It's just a matter of having the money to do so. So I am going to be waiting until November to start doing that. I'm big apologies right now if it is kind of a problem but I'm working on it. So it's coming together slowly but surely. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that's it in terms of life updates. There's a lot, but that's, that's about it that I can really think of. I just want to thank y'all for your support and for tuning in each episode and for giving me your opinions on my reviews and everything. I'm just so happy to be back on track. So slowly but surely it's coming back together and we will we will have a lot of content. I will have a lot of content to share with you very soon. So thank you. Thank you again, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. Please tune in again next week for more updates because there are always changes. There are always crazy things happening in my life that I want to share with all of you in terms of gaming, anime, life, whatever. Patreon, it doesn't matter. So I hope you tune in again soon and I'll see you all later. Okay? All right. Peace.